So Prusa Slicer in its latest alpha release, and that is, let's see, it is version 2.3.0 alpha 3. Now I'm running this on Windows, but they've released a couple of different things. Obviously they've got, well not obviously, but they've got uh, paint on supports, which is huge, allowing you to just paint the put supports exactly where you want without having to have those like little, little stupid blocks and stuff. They've also added monotonous infill. So that what that is, is basically just fixing that problem with rectilinear where it would just kind of fill over here and then fill over here and then fill over here. And so you have all these like totally uneven lines, especially on your top left layer, you're trying to get a nice smooth even top layer, it would do a bunch of crazy stuff. And so monotonous infill just kind of fills up, fills up, fills up, fills up, fills up, right? And so it's nice and even. So um, here's a little example of what that looks like, what the differences are. Okay, so here are a couple of examples of how the rectilinear and uh, monotonic infill look different. So on this one, this Avengers Infinity War sign. It's got a lot of just variation in that black, right? Look at that. Like, you could pretend that's part of the design. <laughs> it's not, okay. Uh, so what's happening is when it's trying to do the black, it's kind of running into where it's going to print the letters when it's going across like that. So it, it really is it's like kind of interrupting it. So it's got all those different areas where it's kind of not um, able to kind of keep going through, right? And so it goes back and fills that in. And this is kind of how that turns out. Not not great. So you can see this is the that signal stand base, uh, the old version, where it was using rectilinear infill for the top and having some trouble. You can see all the different sections. It's kind of uneven uh, and definitely stopped and started as it was going around trying to fill around the top. Those gaps in the infill, especially so here, you can see those little kind of holes almost, and then where it stopped and started right here, uh, also you know kind of here and here, it's it's definitely uneven. Uh, okay, but not even. So check this out. This is monotonic. The only thing that's changed about this is the top layer infill. Look at that. Now it is a different. Uh, filament, but it helps to just show the difference. But look at just how even it is. So it really it starts at one side and then just keeps going across, right? It kind of pushes forward to make that even distribution across the whole print, and it's just it's just a big difference. So definitely a good idea to switch your prints out to this monotonic infill if you're having this problem as well. So here is where in a Prusa Slicer you go ahead and add it and notice this is the alpha, all the icons look pretty funny. Uh, here over here on the left is that painting supports option, but you actually do it in the settings. So if you go to print settings, and I am on expert of course, um, I got, I'm, I'm a real expert. Now um, if you go to top fill pattern, you make sure to select monotonic. If you have rectilinear or all these other ones, like that's fine. But if you want the, the nice and smooth one, go to monotonic. If you are doing the first layer um, in a way that it's it's important, for instance, like I print the front of the bat signal stands facing down, so I do want monotonic on the bottom as well, um, and I may put it back to rectilinear for the top. I honestly have no idea why I would use that in the future at all. But <laughs> that's where to set it. And so now if you go to slice, you know, it should have a nice even pattern across there. In a super slicer, let's go to super slicer. So um, same thing, really. You go to print settings, go over to infill, select. There's a lot more options, but I like to select monotonous. You can do monotonous fill to just fills it a little bit more, but um, same same thing. You just you can select the top and bottom here, and then when you go to slice, it should look nice and even. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. Hope that makes your prints, especially those top layers, nice and smooth and even. I know it has been a huge, huge improvement. Uh, has made a huge improvement on, in my prints, and I've been really happy with that setting so far. Even in the alpha version of Prusa Slicer, it's great. Super Slicer is working well as well. So. Um, make sure to you know change your settings and then you know if if i did miss anything if there's something i don't know which is 
very, very likely. Please do let me know in the comments. I'm super happy to find out new stuff from you guys. So um, thanks again for watching, and I hope you have a good day, night, week, and I hope you don't have COVID. Okay, bye-bye. And if your wife would make fun of you for, you know, seeing you do this, then you should probably subscribe. And, you know, Facebook it, Twitter it, tweet it, you know, all that cool stuff, right? So if it's dark and it's night, then you'll want to check out this sort of stuff again, right? Oh, hey, thanks for watching.